For today's shoot, I'm going to be demonstrating how the Cactus V6 can allow you to create industry-level lighting scenarios using only portable flashes. To begin, I'm going to start with doing a few warm-up shots of the model. Since I'm using the Cactus RF60, I only need to place one V6 unit on my camera as they communicate directly. This is a great place to start, as the direct communication allows me to easily adjust the flash while doing my test shots. Now from here, I could begin setting up the lighting setup by bringing in multiple flashes. Like many photographers, I also use a variety of brands, and the great thing about the Cactus V6 is that its wireless functions are compatible with other brands, allowing you to not be limited by brand-specific gear. Over the past weekend, I got these flashes secondhand. They are great TTL flashes, and I can add them both, despite one being a Nikon and the other a Pentax. Since it's the first time I use this on my V6 system, I must first assign them to their correct profiles. Now that I've assigned the profiles, I can quickly and easily go between flashes and adjust them individually to the ultimate precision on my lighting setup. You can easily select all the flash units using the group control function. As all flashes have a different power range, it can sometimes be difficult to achieve perfectly balanced lighting, but the V6 even has a solution for this. By just setting the V6 to absolute power mode, each flash is pumping out the exact same amount of light. To create a dynamic interaction, I like to get off camera and become an active part of the shoot. The V6, also serving as a wireless shutter release, allows me to do this. Just select Relay Mode. For the best of both convenience and precision, I choose to illuminate my vision with cactus.